Hi, I'm Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be your nurse. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Alex. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so we're going to be doing mirror dry for you today. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Are you familiar with this or what to expect? Um, a little bit, but not 100% Not too much. Certain. Okay, so we will be numbing you up, and then after that, the machine kind of guides us. We're going to be killing your sweat glands and reducing your hair follicles as well. You can expect to see 82% reduction in your sweat glands and odor and 70% reduction of your hair follicles. Okay. Okay. Do I need sweat glands or...? Um, so you actually have about 2 million sweat glands all over your body and your underarm only contains 2% of your entire body's sweat glands. So you are completely safe not having the sweat glands under your armpits. Okay. And is it going to hurt? It will not hurt. So when, when we do the numbing part, you're not going to feel a thing. Um, if at any point you feel any heat sensation, you would just let me know, okay? Okay. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, go nice. ahead and take your robe off. I'm gonna start by just cleaning off your underarms. So right now I'm just marking the area that I wanna make sure is numb and that I wanna treat. All right, so we are all done getting you all numb. And we're gonna go ahead and start the procedure now. The first part is just assessing your underarm, the size of it, and putting a tattoo down. The tattoo is kind of the template that guides me with the machine on where I'm going with my handpiece, okay? Okay. There we go. All right, so we've got your tattoo place. We are all ready to start the procedure with um, the actual machine now. Um, all you're gonna be feeling maybe is a little bit of pressure or sucking. Um, the device kind of sucks up your skin so that way it's working on that certain area, but there should be zero pain, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna be lubricating your arm now. Just helps the machine glide and do the work that it needs to do, okay? okay. So how are you feeling? Good. Good? I don't feel anything. Okay. Here on the screen, can you see the blue, the green bar at the bottom? Yep. So when the energy is being delivered, that's when we're actually targeting those sweat glands and destroying them. Once the blue part comes, that's when we're cooling off your tissues. Okay. And so the results with this is immediate. You will not have to ever put deodorant on ever again. When you go home, you can just throw them away. Right? It's one of like the only procedures where you see immediate results. It's pretty amazing. What are some of the reasons you are decided to come in and do this procedure today? Um, well, mainly it's, I just have always had an issue with sweat. Um, even when I was like in grade school, mm -hmm. because I would wear sweaters to school because I didn't, I was so embarrassed at how much I sweat. Not having to worry if the deodorant gets on your clothes. Mm -hmm. That's another thing too. Have you done this procedure before? I have. I actually did it just two days ago. Oh, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so when we say no downtime, we legitimately mean no downtime. Okay. Yeah, you could go right back to work, right back to doing your normal daily activities. So once we're done with this procedure today, uh, we will have killed a majority of your sweat glands. The other sweat glands are gonna kinda go into a comatose state, the ones that we don't kill. So they're gonna be sleepy and not working. So it, they kinda take a while to wake back up and start working, um, and so then at that point, that's when we would assess to see if you need another one. Okay. And are you still comfortable? Any heat or pain you're feeling? No. Nothing at all? Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's so worth it. It is. 70% reduction of hair, so you won't even need as much razors. You're gonna save money on deodorant and razors. Alrighty, and we are all done with the first side. How was it? Not bad. Not bad? Most of it I didn't even feel except for that one, that one time. When that was... one time. And it was really quick and it went away, huh? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Once again, one through ten, ten being the worst. What are you feeling? Zero. Zero, great. That's I what I'd like to hear. I don't even like feel it suction at all. I'm good. All right.
Alrighty, and we are all done. How are you feeling? Good. Good? I haven't felt anything really. Awesome, glad to hear that. You can go ahead and put your arm down now. I'm just gonna get you cleaned up and then we'll go over some instructions, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay. Okay, so one of the most important aspects of aftercare is making sure you ice. We're gonna go ahead and put ice under each arm right now. So you wanna do 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, as often as you can until the swelling is completely gone, okay? That time frame for everyone is a little bit different, usually one to two weeks until the swelling is completely gone. Okay. You should expect to see swelling, sometimes even you know quite a bit of it. It's totally normal, don't be alarmed. Um, tenderness is normal to feel or altered sensations in the underarm. So like right now how they kind of feel numb, they might continue to stay a little bit numb or altered, okay? Alrighty, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't think so. Okay, you also wanna make sure that you're keeping the area very clean on top of just your normal um, cleanliness. You wanna use an antibacterial soap. You can pick one up at any pharmacy. You wanna use it twice a day on each underarm. Take ibuprofen, 800 milligrams. You can just take the over-the-counter kind, but take 800 milligrams of it um, every six to eight hours. Whether you think you need it, you're, even if just you're not in pain, swelling. exactly, it helps with the swelling. So we want you taking it around the clock until the swelling's gone, okay? okay? Can I shave my armpits? You won't need to. I won't need to. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, no, and I wouldn't shave, even, um, even if you do. A there's a little bit of stubble you get. Just go ahead and wait until the swelling's all gone and everything's healed before you shave. Okay. Okay? That sounds good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.